Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome to just another dang how-to channel. On this tutorial, we're gonna cover uh, Git primers. So we're gonna talk about version control. We're gonna talk about how to install and set up Git on your machine if you don't already have it. Then we're gonna uh, go over some basic commands and some branching and some hosted Git options and also go over some of the advanced Git uh, commands also hosting on github so let's get started so if you haven't used version control before basically version control is just a method of um, the system tracking changes to your files or set of files over time so that you could recall specific versions later so think of it as your word document you're editing it and you want to go back from your previous edit without doing and control z control z so there are um different ways to get git so the very straightforward way is to go to git uh the website git dash sem.com forward slash download and grab the download link here other method is if you uh have xcode if I go git version on my machine because I already have Xcode so install Xcode and it would install the command line tools for you so this version came from Xcode and I want to grab the latest version another option that I could do is I could use homebrew I could do, do brew install git and that should install me the latest version but I'm going with the most common method which is to use download link so I already downloaded the file on my computer I'm just gonna run it go back there the continuum installation type so installation is straightforward right, close so I need to spin up a new instance of this I close the old one and when I go git version, you can see I now have the latest version of git. So the first thing to do is to make yourself known to git. So you need to set your username and your uh, user email. So if I go to git config slash list, these are all the options available for me for git. And let me quit that. So if I go git config uh, user dot name, it doesn't know who I am. So to set that up, you just say git user dot name and then type uh, Paolo. Of course, type in your name. And we need to specify that this is global. So git config dash dash global and then specify your name. And uh, next is we specify the email. So you could say git global user dash email and I'm gonna say Paolo dot R let me put that in lowercase Paolo dot Arculio at gmail .com. and then when I go to git config uh, dash list uh, around at the bottom here you would see that it now knows that my username and my email is Paolo so every time I do a commit or add changes uh, I should be able to know that I'm that user. Cool. So let's start a project. So let me close this. So under Git here, I'm going to open this on another window here. So there's two ways, actually three ways, you could create a repository, Git repository in your computer. You can say Git init, and I say YouTube. Uh, git and this should initialize and create a folder for you so any folder that you drop here would be under that repo so another method is if I create a new folder under here just do this and say uh, YouTube Two. and let's use this uh, 
PV. Sorry, it's a little bit late here. A little bit tired. Kit. So CV YouTube Git to. So from here you can say Git init, and that should initialize a repository for you as well. So then the other one is of course cloning from a uh, remote repository, but we'll tackle that on the next tutorial. So I'm just gonna keep this tutorial uh, short and sweet. So stay tuned for the next video. If you like this, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, thanks. Cheers for now. Bye.